Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can take a character from Character Creator 3 and export it into the uh, Unity 3D game engine and retarget it for some motions uh, that are going to, going to come from uh, Mixamo. We're going to download some Mixamo motions and apply them to our Character Creator 3 character uh, via retargeting in the Unity 3D game engine. Okay, so we have this uh, cool looking gladiator on the screen right now. Okay, this is just the, uh, the character that we're using with this nice little leather cummerbund and, and shiny armor. And uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your character is optimized before you export to a game engine. So generally you'll want to uh, select your items on your character, go up to Insta LOD and Polygon Reduction for whatever objects you want. Okay, and you'll want to convert to a uh, game base as well. We talk about that in other tutorials and I'll provide links in the description for those as well. Okay, so uh, you can see our character. If we select, you know, all the items on our character, we just go to uh, wireframe on shaded mode. You can see it's fairly optimized, fairly low poly. Um, for a character this detail, uh, 57,000 uh, poly count right there. And we'll just uh, take it back up to uh, normal shading mode here. Okay, so fairly optimized already, all right? Fairly low resource, and that's what you want when you export into a game engine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go ahead to export the character. Uh, we're gonna go up to File and Export and Export to FBX, okay? Now, since we're gonna export to Unity 3D, we're gonna use the Target Tool preset for Unity 3D, very simple. We do not want to embed the textures. We do want to include a motion at 30 frames a second. Doesn't really matter in this case since it's a T-pose. I go to custom and load up our uh, T-pose. Okay, so zero underscore T-pose. And always make sure the T-pose is the first item on the list when you export. In this case, it's the only item since we're going to be uh, exporting, um, or rather importing the other motions from Mixamo directly into uh, uh, Unity 3D. Okay, and you also want to make sure you delete the hidden mesh. Okay, and we'll go to export and just go ahead and click through here. Now I've already exported it as a gladiator. Okay, now make sure that you save all of your uh, like uh, stuff into a folder. So what I normally do is I create a folder and then I save it um, into that folder with the same name. So you can see under gladiator, we have the gladiator.fbx right here. Okay, this is gladiator.fbx. And we can just click and drag that into our Unity game engine um, once it's exported. Okay, so let's just say I exported it since I already did it. We'll close down Character Creator. We don't need it any longer. And we'll go ahead and find that uh, file. Let's go to the uh, desktop here and a Gladiator. Okay, so here's the uh, folder that we want to import in. But before we do that, we want to import in the script. Okay, now uh, I'm going to go over here to the, uh, I'm going to go back actually to the previous folder here. And this script will be available for download in the description of this video. You can see we have the HDRP Beta 1.3. This is the one that you want to use since we are using an HDRP project. Uh, to find out if you are, go up to Edit and Project Settings, and under Graphics, you'll see the H uh, HD Render Pipeline Assist uh, right here. Okay, so you wanna make sure you have that before you import in the HDRP script. Okay, so let's go back and do that. And all you gotta do is just click and drag it into your Assets folder, all right? So in this case right here, click and drag it, just like that. And it's gonna come up with a dialog box like this to make sure you import in everything. And in a few seconds, you should have the script compiled. All right, and once that's in, you're gonna have two new folders appear, uh, the editor folder right here, okay, and the CC Assets folder. And if you go into the CC Assets folder, there's a readme here that just basically says, put all your FBX character files into this folder, please. Okay, so basically we're just gonna follow that. Now you need to go up to Window before you do this. Go up to Window and make sure Auto Processing for CC Character is there. When you click on it, make sure auto processing is selected when you import in your character initially. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to our uh, Explorer here and go to the desktop and simply click and drag the Gladiator folder into the CC Assets folder. Okay, so this one that contains the FBX um, file as well as the texture folder and all that stuff. And what it's going to do, the script is going to automatically uh, assess that and assign the materials for your character creator character um, properly in Unity and the FBX file. All right, so once that's imported in, you'll have the uh, Gladiator folder right here, which contains the textures, prefabs, um, an animator controller right here as well. Um, let's go into the uh, prefabs, and we're just gonna simply click and drag our Gladiator character into our uh, hierarchy there. You can see he'll appear in the middle of the scene. We can just, uh, you know, scroll around him. Uh, you can see the beautiful shiny armor and big bulgy muscular chest for our character. We're gonna give him an animation real soon here. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna import in those animations. Now we need to download the animations from Mixamo. So I'm gonna go over here to uh, the uh, Mixamo website here, mixamo.com. Make sure you have an Adobe account 
and you can download all these motions for free from Mixamo.com. There's a couple uh, ones that I'm going to download here. There's one called uh, Two-Handed Club. Okay, so search club and you can have two-hand club combo here. So click that and you can see the, uh, the motion right here. Watch, uh, okay, just a super cool looking uh, club combo. And then there's one for uh, sword as well. So I'm just going to type in sword. Whoops. Okay, and uh, there's a two-handed sword combo. That one's further down, I think. There you go, two-handed sword combo. This is a very similar one, just a little bit faster. Okay, the sword is a little bit more maneuverable, I guess. And then we're also going to just download a T-Pose. Um, so before I do, I'll show you which, what I'm going to do here. We're going to download this. Um, I already have it downloaded, but for this sword combo, just go up here to download. Okay, make sure you download FBX. Uh, with the combos, choose without skin. We don't need a mesh on the character, okay? Just the uh, just the motion themselves, uh, 30 frames a second, no keyframe reduction, and just go ahead and download that. Okay, and I've already downloaded it, and I'll show you where in just a moment once we finish downloading this bad boy. All right, looks like it's downloaded there in the bottom. Two added sword combo dot fbx. All right, and we can do the same thing with the uh, club combo. Um, I'm just going to search uh, for T pose here. Okay, and you'll find your uh, scarecrow uh, T pose. And we're not going to download, it doesn't really matter, uh, the mesh we use. We're going to just download, uh, it's going to be this XBot here, which is this um, rig. Okay, this is the, the Mixamo rig. And I'll just go ahead and download that and uh, download with skin. Okay, and then I just basically, it's going to download as a T-Pose. And I just renamed it as XBot. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and close down uh, the uh, Chrome right now. We don't need this. And let's go into the folder where I have all the files there. Okay, let's go uh, back here and into the main folder. The center maximum motions. We have the two hand club combo, two hand sword combo, and X bot. Okay, this is the mesh right here. You can see the size is a little bit bigger, and or sorry, rather the rig. And these are just the animations. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to import all of these in to our project. Now, before we do that, we need to make sure we go up to Window and go to Auto Processing. And we need to turn the auto processing off, okay? Since we're not going to process these as character creator uh, import files, they are from Mixamo. So we need to turn the, the auto processing off, okay? And let's just go into our main Gladiator folder here and we'll import them directly into this folder. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, shift select everything right here and simply uh, click and drag them in like this. Okay, and you can see the XBOT uh, rig there, it imports in as a T pose, okay? And the uh, two hand, uh, whatever. Uh, motions there they will import in as well now the uh, animation controller for the gladiator character currently is empty there's really nothing there okay so let's close that down for now and we're going to import those other things those other motions in uh, right away so let's close this down for now now the first thing we need to do here is we need to set our xbot as the host as the as a source rig basically for these animations okay so we we'll select uh the xbot here and for animation type we're just going to select humanoid okay and we're going to create an avatar definition from this model. Okay, so create from this model and just go ahead and apply. So that basically when we uh, use these two other motions here, the hand club and the hand sword, we're going to use that uh, motion here as a source. So what we need to do is first configure this avatar definition. Okay, you see there's a little configure here with a check mark. Just go ahead and click that. It doesn't really matter if you save it. Um, we won't save for now. Okay, and you'll see the character here, and it says big and big and big red here. It says character is not in T pose. And you're like, what the heck? What's going on here? And it's just a little little, little thumb issue here um, with the character. You can see it uh, has a little big arrow pointing to it, telling you which bones are not in the correct T pose. So all you got to really do is go up to uh, pose here and enforce T pose. Okay, and it's just going to enforce all that stuff into a T pose, and you're pretty much done. Just go ahead and select apply, and then go over to done. Okay, so now we have uh, the XBot in a special uh, T pose there. Okay, and uh, you can see a bunch more files have been created here in the Gladiator folder. So what we need to do now, if we want to apply that that uh, those motions to our character, we need to make sure that they have the definition, uh, the correct uh, avatar definition. So let's go ahead and select two hand uh, sword combo here, and under rig, we'll just choose the same thing, humanoid. Okay, and we're not going to create from this model the definition. We're going to copy from other avatar. And we need to select the source avatar, which is the XBOT avatar, the one that we created right here. Okay, so just double click on that and go ahead and select apply. Okay, and do the same thing with the two hand combo here as well. Uh, two hand club combo here. So again, humanoid, 
and choose copy from other avatar and click here and just double click the Xbot avatar. Okay, and go ahead and apply that. So what we can do now is go ahead and select our Gladiator controller here, animator controller, and you can see there's nothing in there. Uh, what we can do now is just click on the, uh, the club combo right here. We can import that in. Okay, so that'll be our default motion for entry when our character, uh, when we play back our uh, project here. And let's just do the same thing for the, the club combo here. Again, we can just uh, double click on this here and uh, we can rename it. So let's just call this uh, uh, two hand, uh, two hand club combo. All right, and I think this one was a sword combo. All right, so let's double click on that. Whoops, let's click on it and we'll call this a uh, two hand sword combo. Let's keep the capitalization consistent there. Okay, so he's gonna basically break into a two hand club combo right off the bat here. And we're gonna right click that and we'll just go ahead and make transition to uh, this one. And then once this one is completed, make transition back. Okay, so again, just right click and select make transition and then left click on the uh, one that you want to make the transition to. All right, so once we've set the rig source for both of our animations to the Xbox avatar, we can go ahead and give our character a play here in the uh, viewport. So let's go ahead and give that a shot, play back, and he should pop into the uh, two-handed uh, club combo here first. Let's go into our scene view here just to get a better, a little bit of a better look. Let me zoom out here. Ah, there we go. It's chopping at the camera. All right, but you notice one thing. If we just pause it really quickly in mid uh, stroke here, you can see that his mouth is kind of open, okay? Uh, and this is a, a known issue. What we need to do is we need to go ahead and modify the rig um, for the gladiator, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just uh, stop the playback and uh, go back into uh, regular mode here. And what we need to do is go up to window and auto processing for CC character. Okay, now whenever you're making a modification to your character's rig, you want to make sure that this auto processing is off. Otherwise, it'll basically just cancel out any modifications that you make. Okay, because it's uh, set to the script. Uh, so let's go ahead and deselect that. Now do not close down the window. Keep this window open with auto processing deselected. And let's go select our gladiator uh, rig right here. We need to uh, select from humanoid and create from this model. And we're going to configure. Okay, so let's go to configure. It uh, doesn't really matter if we save or not in this case. And you can see here we have a similar issue where the uh, the character's uh, body here is, or there's you know some kind of rig uh, issue. In this case, it's the uh, few of the fingers and everything like that. So same process as before. Let's just go to pose and enforce T pose. Okay, and it's going to basically set everything up. Now, what we need to do to fix that jaw thing that we saw earlier is we need to select our character's uh, jawbone. Okay, we need to find the jawbone first, and we can find that by going into the head section here and selecting the jaw. And basically just deleting it. So just go ahead and select it and delete the entire thing. And once we're done that, we're going to go ahead and select apply. And once it's applied, we will select done, which is right over here. Okay. And again, uh, make sure, making sure that this auto processing is consistently off. So let's go ahead and give our uh, scene a playback one more time here. Now let's find our character first. Where is he? Gladiator. But we can just re-import the uh, prefab here. Let's go to prefabs and uh, bring that uh, back in here. Just apply it to here. All right, so now we should be able to, uh, with the prefab updated, we should be able to play back and see our character um, doing everything with his mouth closed. Okay, let's go ahead and go our scene view here and make, make sure that we uh, can see his mouth. Get back a little bit here. There we go, all right. So, boop, let's pause it right there. Stop right there. We can see his mouth is closed. All right, so that's really all there is to it. Um, in addition to that, what you can do is you can just, you know, simply um, bring your character, this character I have on the screen, you can bring him into the uh, third person uh, default project with Unity 3D, and you can simply uh, apply the same WASD uh, controller to your character. You can have him uh, jump around and do all kinds of jumps and acrobatics like this character here. Uh, it's a very simple process, and, uh, you know, we won't really cover it in this tutorial, but there's a uh, Unity tutorial in the description that'll show you exactly how you can uh, you know, apply the WSD controller to another imported character. All right, so thanks everyone so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a lot about uh, you know retargeting your CC3 characters into the Unity game engine here. And uh, as always, make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.